Hi there, welcome to this tutorial in Java where we learn about the overview of the collection framework. So what we'll look at is all the different frameworks which are present in uh, all the different uh, classes which are present in collection framework, what are the different maps which are present. So you would get a complete overview from the high level of what the collection framework is. So let's get started quickly. What is the collection framework? Collection framework is used to store a group of items. So I have uh, like different batsmen who are present. So Sachin, Lara, Ponting. So I want to put them in a single group. So I use some kind of a collection. And which kind of a group you put them in depends on what you want to do with those batsmen. So let's look at the different collection things which are present. So the collection, the first interface which is present in uh, Java collections hierarchy is collection. The collection defines this interface which is collection defines the various methods which any collection in Java should offer. So what are the different methods? The first one is size. Uh, you can find out how big uh, uh, the size of a collection is. If you look at any collection it offers methods to add, remove, to check if a particular element is present, to check if the collection is empty, is empty method, you can remove a list of items, you can retain a list of items that is basically I have a list of five items, I only want to retain two among them if they are present, so I can say retain this and this. So if you look at these and also equals and hash code, the equals and hash code are kind of the basic methods. Uh, which are present in all objects so and also you can make a collection as empty so these are the basic methods which are present in any collection in java so you look at any collection in java these methods would always be present and that's why this is the basic interface the base interface in collection hierarchy so the base interface defines methods to add an element remove an element find the size uh, make the list uh, make the collection empty to check if a particular element is present you can check if a list of particular elements are present and those kind of stuff if you go a little bit below the next collection which is the next interface which is important in collections is set interface the set interface is really basically an extension of the collection interface there is no new method which uh, is put in the collection interface for set but the most important thing is all classes which extend set interface only allow unique elements so I cannot have the same element twice in a set so that's the most important distinction between a set interface and a collection interface uh, I mean the the difference is basically in the usage and not really in the definition of the set interface. So the set interface extends the collection. So set is basically a collection, but all the things which extend set store unique elements. You cannot store duplicate elements in the set. The next one, uh, we'll, uh, the next interface which is really important is the list interface. The list interface also extends the collection interface but the most important thing is a list in a list the position of the element is important so list is a collection where the position is important so uh, it really is important whether the like for example in the order of runs if you look at it Sachin is at position uh, index 0 that's very important it uh, is not fine if Sachin is at 4 for example so in these kind of things where position is important we have the list interface if you look at the list interface the methods which it which it offers they'll all be related to adding like these are in addition to the collection interface the list interface extends collection interface and provides methods which deal with an index so you can add you can get an element at an index so I can say get of one so that would return me pointing you can say set an element set at 5 a value so it will push all the other elements further down and will insert that particular element you can add an element at a particular value or sorry set would not 
push the things but it would just make the value change uh, add would really add it remove the element so i can say remove one so pointing would be removed from the list and you can also find the index of so i can find give me where lara is present in the list it returns back to it you can find the last index of so this also says the thing that in a list uh, elements can be duplicated so last index of means uh, if lara is present twice in this list it would give the last index of lara and you have a couple of iterators so these are the important methods in the list interface in java so if you look at the other interface the other interface is queue interface if you look at queue it also extends collection interface but the thing about the queue is all the elements are ordered in the way it's inserted so if i have inserted 1 2 3 4 and then 5 then they are also stored in that order the elements which uh, the methods which queue interface offers are more add and offer is to take out and uh, like offer then you have remove is to remove an element from the queue poll is just find out what is the last element but it doesn't really remove the element from the thing and also you can get the different thing so that's the queue interface there are different types of queue as well the most important other interface is map the most important thing that you need to notice is the map interface does not extend collection interface so all the methods which are present in the collection interface are not offered by the map interface the map interface stores values in a key value pair so you would store the values in a key and a value pair so you can so it's basically uh, a key value pair so that's where the map interface would be used so if you look at all the methods in the map interface they will be directed at that so they will be directed in finding out uh, does it contains this particular key does it contain this particular value uh, or put this key and this value uh, or get the value uh, get the value present for that particular key remove a particular value so uh, sorry remove based on the key so the map interface defines things based on the key and value pair so you can have a lot of key and value pairs and also for that particular key you can only have one value so that's basically the concept behind the map interface so that's a kind of an overview on the collection framework so that basically a overview on, on the various uh, interfaces which are present in the collection frameworks and we looked at the collection interface we looked at list interface we looked at queue interface uh, list and queue interfaces are ex extending the collection interface and at the end we looked at the map interface which is not really extending the collection interface but it provides a way we can access elements using key value pairs so these are the different interfaces which are present in the collection framework until next time bye if you like this video show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video we are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak subscribe to stay updated thanks for watching until next time bye